High t oh jeez, yeah, CHRH, it's not looking good here. Stasis and um, Storms against a couple mines here. And yeah, Stork doing a great job of pulling these Arbiters back. Oh, that's a uh, EMP going off across those, uh, missing the Arbiters, I think, but going across maybe five or six Dragoons here. Dragoons forced to pull back. Um, this is actually, this is a little bit interesting. But then again, taking a look at the minimap, even if Stork loses this battle, he's pretty much just going to macro up a huge force. I mean, look at his economy in comparison. Like, if, if CHRH loses this, this is going to be devastating for him. Uh, so, yeah, great move by Stork, dropping those High Templar on top of that ridge there. And that's actually a move that it... And oh, Stasis going on the tanks. But that's a move that I've seen a lot lately, is uh, the, the Protoss player will just carry around a shuttle full of High Templars just so they don't have to... So they can't get shelled on the ground because they have such a low, uh, such low hit points. And yeah, Stork losing that force, but like I said, I doubt that that's going to bother him. Yeah, vulture harass, five vultures, <laughs> making a ritual around that mine going down. Um, but yeah, so just taking a look at the mini map, the whole left half of the map is Stork's for the taking, and he's just arbiters flying around. But yeah, what I was going to say earlier is that I noticed that a lot of... Uh, when the Protoss player texts to Arbiters, for some reason, they just love leaving them out in the middle of nowhere. And that is the first time I've seen a Protoss player legitimately just pull out. No pun intended. Again. But anyways, yeah, here he goes in. Just macroed up another force because his economy is just dominating. I haven't... Yeah, upgrades are two armor, three... Uh, three attack for the mech units. Oh, huge EMP going off. Huge EMP going off. Another EMP going off. So, uh, CHRH might actually take this down. I think Stork needs to pull back. I mean, there's enough. Yeah, he should. I think he should have pulled back there and just focused on that. Got with. It got out of range of those tanks and just focused on those SCVs in that command center. Specifically, the command center. Oh, <laughs> and the Arbiters. <laughs> Ten damage. 10 damage per hit with the slowest attack pretty much in the game. Uh, picking off. No! <laughs> picking off a tank. Picking. Holy smokes. I believe that is 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that's 13 factories. And dro a drop going in here. Um, but Stork anticipating this. Uh, I think those cannons. They, they just need to get up. They need to get moving because that's only one tank. If that one tank can do enough damage, uh, that that would suck. <sighs> but those Arbiters are... Oh, and a recall. Missed that. Ar Stork has six Arbiters right now. Three harassing the units. And another... Th oh, unless he recalled the other ones. But, um, yeah, so he needs to... He needs to... Uh, CHRH needs to do something to this recall here. Uh, doing a lot of damage, taking out some supply depots, taking out the upgrades. Uh, the, actually, I was mentioning before, uh, CHRH was in the lead for upgrades. And see, do you see what I mean? The Arbiter sitting there engaging that goddamn turret. And it's always the turrets that do it. It's always the turrets. And oh, big ground push coming in here. If, if, if CHRH loses this ground push, this is going to be GG for sure. 100%. He's, if he loses this, it's GG. Um, actually, and even if he takes out this, and that, if he takes out this expansion and then loses the push, it's still GG because Stork just has way too many bases. Um, but still, CHR is doing a, a very good job for what I expected. I Maybe I'm a noob for not knowing who, who this guy is, and Storm's going everywhere. Jangby-style Storm's just <laughs> raping everything. Uh Storm's just doing it for Stork right now, and uh, coming out a bit equal, stasis a couple units, coming about a bit even here. The but if you check the mini map, uh, the that yeah there it is. The recall is still the units that were recalled is still there, and harass coming down. The zealots from the recall coming down, picking off some of those. I think CHRH just needs to use a scanner, scan all the bases on the map, realize that he's he's got now. Two mining bases to Storks. I think five. Uh, yeah, he just needs to GG right now. I think. Um, 
Yeah, Observer all, over all the tanks. DT galore coming out here, and yeah, Stark. Stark with a ridiculous amount of gateways. And none of CHRH's uh, factories have the machine shop add on anymore, so no more tanks. Yeah, he knows he's beat. He's just scrambling his eyes, scrambling all over his screen, looking for, like, I don't even know, Sarah Kerrigan to come in with, like, some reinforcements. Yeah, I play the campaign. I play the StarCraft campaign. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty good win here. Pretty comprehensive win for uh, Stork. His early, his early um, contain with his DT didn't work too well, which I was a little bit proud. I was like, yeah, CHRH, you're a little bit of the man for you know, taking out that DT when even... Um, Dear God, that guy, that Bisu played, couldn't deal with it. So CHRH, you're the man for that, but yeah, yeah, there's your takeoff. Yeah, GG. Capital letters, GG. So yeah, pretty pretty good win for Stork. I, I hate to say it, but I could have called it. Stork just dominating Pro League, you know, getting taking down some matches for his team, uh, for Samsung, but uh, yeah, just... Ace, poor guys. But yeah, I would like I would like to see Stork come out and dominate. Like, oh, this is nice. You don't see this very often. Going, over. what are you doing? Why you well, that was embarrassing. That was a little awkward. Shake his hand. That's beautiful. You don't see that very often. Maybe the friends. Maybe the. Well, yeah, maybe the friends. <laughs> um. So yeah, good win from Stork. Uh, he's a great player. Um, Ace looks like they're not going to win this series. They're down 0-2. to two. Everybody loves high-fiving the Samsung coach because she's pretty much the hottest Asian in Korea right now. So, um, not looking too good for Ace right now. And yeah, that is uh, second commentary of my entire life. Uh, Frank SC signing off.